Hi, welcome. Today I'm gonna to go over some Gmail tips and tricks. That saves me hours and hours per week dealing with my email and hopefully will save you some time as well. So the very first thing that I always like to tell power users that use Gmail is look at keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts is the trick of being productive when working with your email inside the Gmail application. So let's have a quick look at how to turn it on and what to do. So here you can see a um, example mailbox that we use for our social media. In the top right hand corner, there's the trusty settings icon. And here we can go to the settings of our mailbox as we all know. While there's lots and lots of information here, the th key thing I want to show you is this option, keyboard shortcuts. Make sure that keyboard shortcuts are turned on. Going back to the inbox, the first thing that you can do is press the question mark. This brings up all the keyboard shortcuts available to you within Gmail. As you can see on the screen, there are a lot of keyboard shortcuts um, some of them that you'll never use, but some that you'll use daily. Some of the keyboard shortcuts I use on a regular basis is going from one email to another, navigating my list of emails in my inbox, um, archiving and moving to the next email quickly, replying, etc. As you can see from the inbox, there's a very subtle blue line that is over the first email in my inbox. This indicates what is selected and where the cursor on my email inbox is. By using the J and the K keys, I can move down and up, J for down, K for up, my list of emails. I can then use other keyboard shortcuts to select emails. So I can use X to select, and X to unselect. I can use E to archive, and you can press S to start. You can press O to open, and then when in an email, you can use the square brackets to archive and move to the next message. This is a really powerful keyboard shortcut. It allows you to skip a number of steps that you'd normally do. Some other really good keyboard shortcuts is the C button to compose a new email. And then when inside an email, the R button to reply, the F button to forward, and that A button to reply all. Oh. 